Thanks, Michael, for asking me to share uh, some examples of where we've used Crowdscope. So we're publishers, not biscuitiers, in case that needs clarifying uh, for anyone. And our purpose is to connect the world with the stories, ideas, and writing that matter. And in 2013, Penguin and Random House came together to form Penguin Random House. Uh, and uh, we are now the world's largest publisher. We have around 10,000 employees uh, worldwide. And our parent company is Bertelsmann, uh, who some of you may know. Uh, my focus is the UK, where we have around 2,000 employees, um, and which is where we've introduced Crowdscope. And there are many good reasons for choosing Crowdscope, but for me particularly, we chose Crowdscope because it aligns with two of our core values adventure. So for us, we're really fo focused on growing ourselves and growing our business. And what that really means is that we're trying to find ways to challenge the status quo and to do things a little bit differently. And for me, Crowdscope offers that opportunity. <coughs> openness, it's quite hard to visualise, but I think we did quite a good job, um, is uh, about us sharing, learning, being curious, uh, always asking questions. And actually, we find that really quite difficult to have a kind of candidness, a robustness, a rigour to our conversations. We struggle sometimes to say what's working, what's not. Um, and again, Crowdoscope has really en enabled us to ramp up this value, to be open and transparent in what's happening and having some of those conversations. So from my perspective, Crowdoscope has been really great, not just, um, I guess, reinforcing the values, but actually helping to drive some of those behaviours through the organisation. So I've got two examples that I would just like to share with you, uh, both a little bit different. Uh, the first one was when we uh, did some work around rethinking our annual company conference, um, and the second is a follow-up to our global employee survey. So uh, we have an annual company conference. It's the only time the whole company gets together. It's a brilliant, brilliant event. It's a celebration of ourselves, of our books and our authors. Um, and we love it, uh, but we thought it could be even better. Um, and so we use Crowdoscope to ask our employees uh, on the back of the, our last uh, conference that we ran uh, to share with us about how useful they thought conference had been and what their ideas were for how we might make it better going forward. Actually, I like that one because that's when I came to Michael to say, I don't like the blue. Could we have orange, please? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so this is just uh, one of the many visualisations that we created on the back of the uh, feedback that we got from employees. There were 16 key themes that came through for us. Uh, the number one winner by some margin was that actually our employees uh, wanted to have the ability to meet and to talk with um, our authors. Um, and employees, uh, when they went on to share their suggestions, were then asked to rate one another's suggestions uh, in terms of how much did they agree uh, and how much of a difference this would make uh, to their experience of conference. Uh, on the back of this, we put together a cross-divisional working group who are now planning for our next conference. So a really nice, simple illustration, uh, but in, you know, incredibly effective uh, so that we can bring everyone's views to the fore. So this was a second case study. It's a global survey, the number of people they're surveying. It's quite hard sometimes to dig in and really, really understand uh, exactly what's going on. Uh, so on the back of uh, the uh, survey, we decided that we would run uh, four Crowdoscope surveys simultaneously. So we got the data back. We looked at the things that we were worried about and concerned about that we wanted to get employee suggestions and ideas for how we might do things differently. So we ran these four surveys uh, Easter this year. We had over a thousand participants, employees could contribute to none of the surveys, one of the surveys, all of the surveys, whatever interested them most. Uh, but it was a very effective way to start a company-wide conversation and to show that we were really serious about making some changes. It also saved you sitting in a dark room going, what are we going to do about this stuff? Uh, so this was just one of the surveys that we did. Uh, it was around um, increasing employee recognition. So we asked employees to share with us their ideas for what would help to make them feel more recognised in terms of their contribution to the organisation. Um, and uh, other employees had to go on and to comment on how actionable this was, how, how actionable the idea was, uh, and also how much of a difference it would make. Um, so 
for all of those reasons, this is one of our other values, heart. Uh, we heart uh, Crowdscope at Penguin Roundup House, which I thought was quite nice to say, and just a little summary slide at the end. So I've already said we can really, really quickly start a company-wide conversation and we can crowdsource ideas. It's self-organizing, it doesn't need any facilitation, you just set it up and you go and you're off. Uh, the output's very focused, easy to digest, even I can understand it and do something with it. Uh, and also importantly, it feels like it really reflects what's happening you know, outside of our companies in the real world. Um, it's, it feels very uh, open to me and a, a progressive way to source ideas. It's visual, open, transparent, and all of those good things. So thank you.